All right, guys, I'm back, and I'm back in my base right now, and I kind of want to get some heckin' cheese. Look at all those ion cubes I have. I'm, I'm, I'm charging up my power cells, by the way, and I'm thinking, you know what? I kind of want to make some ion power cells, just because why not, right? So that's 8, that's 9, 10, 11, 12. I think we figured out is how much we needed at least. 12, and let's just make another one. Boom, boom. That way we have one for the prawn suit, six for the cyclops, and hopefully we can actually afford all this, you guys. <laughs> Sheesh, but for that we need gold and silver, I think, and we have a decent amount of, yeah, we have a decent amount of silver here. Might as well actually, you know, grab some of it that we're gonna need, so let's grab some of that. And we have a lot of gold here already, which is good, so I assume, oh, yeah, hold on. Oh yeah, we need the silicon rubber and stuff too, don't we? Yeah, and I think we have a little bit of that. I think I grabbed some of it in here, or uh, I think I saw some of it in here, and yes, we have two right there, and of course we have uh, creep seed clusters or whatever outside as well, so that's good. Let's see if we can make, what do we need for the ion? Oh yeah, we need gold, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to grab some of that gold, hey, duh. And we do not have any inventory of that, uh, or inventory space for that, so put up the power cells and stuff, there you go. Grab a little bit of gold, boom, 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 hey, duh. Put up that titanium, might as well. I, 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 by the way, I'll show you guys what I use that titanium for here in just a bit. You probably might have barely seen it just seconds ago, but I'll show you guys here in a sec anyways. So let's make an ion battery. Of course, we already have one of these in the sea glide, but... Let's just uh, make a second one, and then hopefully we'll be able to grab some of the silicon rubber here in just a bit. And make ourselves ion power cells. Let's make as many of these as we can, at least for now. Here we go, and I guess we can grab even more gold. And we have five silver there, so one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Now we can make five more of these ion batteries. Golly, this is so much. And that's five? Yes, that's five. Okay. So how many we have uh one, two, three. I think there's six in a horizontal thing, so that's six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we have nine. We need f oh, I could have just counted the cubes up here. We need five more. Yeah, five more silver, five more gold. I don't know if we have enough yeah, we have one silver there. Therefore we need another gold for that. We have so many things. oh two more silver there, so I need to get two more gold. There we go. See we have so much storage over here, I just one uh, how much silver is that? That's four, five, so boom, boom. I think we have enough, you guys. I think we have enough. Oh my gosh, this is going to be crazy, you guys. We're going to finally have enough to make our Cyclops completely ion power cells. And then, of course, our prawn suit is going to be ion power cells as well. We just need to get enough uh, silicon rubber for that. And, of course, we already have two, so we can make a pretty good amount of them already. We need to make seven of them, I think, we wanted to do, so we're going to need to get five more silicon rubber here in just a moment. And look at all those ion batteries, you guys. Oh my gosh! Jeez! And let's make ourselves some ion power cells. Boom, ion power cell. <laughs> this is so crazy. Look at how huge it is. And I assume it also has insane amount, like five times, I think I said, probably. Five times the, uh... A thousand capacity five okay so double so it has double the capacity of oh wait no hold on hold on a thousand right there how much does the power cell have though two on yep five times five times oh my gosh <sighs> so the ion battery has five times as much as a battery a battery has a hundred charges has 500 ion power cell has a thousand compared to 200 of the power cell golly so I guess we're going to have these extra power cells as basically backups. These are already 100% charge on those, so that's good. But let me go show you guys real quick what I was doing outside. And I was talking about just moments ago. I made these power or, uh, exterior grow beds, and I'm growing the ghost weed right there. The bulb bush right there. And the sea crown right there. That way, you know, we actually have some of that stuff growing in case we ever need it for other things here in the future. As well as these are the three things we're going to need for the uh, that stuff right there. Hatching enzymes. I still need to get the eye stalk seed at the fungal sample. I think I know where the ice talk. I think it's like near Degazi Island, so probably going to go stop by there, grab some ice talk things. I don't know where to get this fungal fungal sample. I don't know what that... I, I Maybe that's like any type of mushroom type thing, maybe? I, I, I don't quite know, but I guess I'll probably look it up and see if we could find any information about it, but we do need to get some of these things over here, so let's grab some of the, some of the vines if I have enough inventory space for it. Creep vines. Uh, oh, well, that just... Uh, can I put that back? I can. Okay, that's good. I think... Yes, it's grown. Okay. <laughs> I guess I already mined that out completely, so... Two... I Do I have enough for three? I think I do. Do I have enough for four? I do not. 
I should probably eat something. I don't want to eat the nutrient block, <laughs> you know, so I'll uh, just keep that there. I think... Hopefully I grab the right thing. I don't think you need creep seeds. I think that's for lubricant, so hopefully creep vines is for fiber med. Ah! So it is creep seeds for the silicon rubber. What, what is lubricant then? Oh, it's the same thing. Okay, so I guess I could have grabbed either one. Okay, well, I guess I could just... Uh, I guess I could make this in the fiber mesh. That requires two, and I guess I could eat the other one just because why not, right? So there you go. Put the extra fiber mesh up just because... I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to use it for, so there you go, right? Oh, I'm going to need the power cells back, so grab those bad boys. And these are one of everything's 100%. There we go, noish. So let's grab all that. I think we have one that's not 100%. Yeah, that one's zero. And look at all that. That's all 100% now. now. Nice. And same thing over here with the batteries. I've already switched those out. So that's good. Now I have, what is it, two uh, power cell whatever? Oh, wait, doesn't the pro... Hold on. Doesn't the prawns you have two power or bat or like one there and then yeah so i'm going to need to ah i'm going to need to get another uh whatever you call it <laughs> i'm going to need to get another one of those you guys so anyways i'll just grab that one there you go unload power so everything oh this is all completely turned off and eh, not that big of a deal not too big of a deal if the lights are off but this is all going to be basically extra power cells there look at all those power cells you guys golly ion power cells i guess i can get out of the prawns and well then again i can't Put the prawn suit in here when the cyclops has no power, right? So I might as well wait. Uh, what else was I doing? I might as well grab a couple more ion cubes while I'm here. Just because I might need, like, two more of them. So let's grab those. Let's go grab some more creep vine. Like, creep seeds, I think is what I'll need. So I don't, I don't need my knife for it. I just need to get... There you go. Grab some of the creep seeds. As many of them as I can. I think I can do one more. And... Uh, so much, there we go, so much lag. Anyways, I think my inventory is full, so I can't grab any more. So I think I might be able to make three silicon rubber from that. So let's go over here to the fabricator. And yes, it's just one. So, or it might be two. Hold on. It is. No way, it gives you two silicon rubber per creep seed cluster. So that's good. We're going to get a ton of this. That's good. That might be why we had two of them just randomly in my chest. I might have accidentally crafted it for whatever reason. So that's good. So now we can make more ion power cell things. All right, nice. So that's three, this is four. Here in just a sec, five. I think we need, no, I think we have enough. Here in just a sec, our Cyclops is going to be run exclusively off of these ion power cells, you guys, wow. And you guys were saying, hey, why don't you get a, uh, I, I guess I could take these uh, power cell things and put them in the uh, Cyclops. I guess now that we have the Cyclops running off of ion power cells, it just kind of makes more sense, right? Uh, gold and silver now, yeah. So, uh, hold on, let's do some quick maths. So, with six of this goes to the Cyclops, so that's four, five, six. And we have one extra right there. I kind of want to make an extra one, so let's go grab another thing of gold, another thing of silver. If I could find some, there's some kyanite just kind of sitting there. Okay, so we have gold there, I need a silver. And do we have silver just kind of laying around? I'm not, oh, wait, yep, yep, I saw it just at the last second right there. All right, so now we can make an extra. Oh, wait, yeah, we need to make two of them, don't we? Yeah, I need to go grab another gold and another silver, yeah. Let's go grab another gold and another silver here in just a bit. Hopefully we actually have it, though. Let's see. Yep, we have silver and we have gold. Perfect. All right, well, is there a... There's jail sack. I guess I can plant that as well. I don't know if that gives me... It might be like a one-to-one -one return, so I don't know if I want to go plant that, but uh, deep shrooms, yes. I think I want to go plant that, because I think we needed that for the... Ah, I forget what it's called. I don't know why I keep forgetting what it's, what it's called. <laughs> Anyways, uh, oh, oh, hold on, hold on. There's a new thing here. Is that it? No, that's the hatching enzymes. Where is it? Hold on. I'm just going to go look it up. Uh, polyaniline, that's what it's called. Hold on. Let me literally go look up what polyaniline needs, because I am apparently missing something. So polyaniline is gold plus hydrochloric acid. What in the world? Didn't I need, like, deep sea shrooms or something? Oh, wait, you might need it for uh, hydrochloric. Oh. Uh, yep, deep shrooms plus salt. Okay, well, we need three of that, and then salt. Of course, I have two of them, I think, and then, of course, salt, we have, like, it's just basically a byproduct of the water filtration machine, so uh, let's make that extra pion or ion power cell there. And I think we're good to go now, you guys. All right, let's go power up the Cyclops, and then, of course, get our prawn suit out of the Cyclops, and then power that thing up, switch out the, uh... Emergency power oxygen. 
yeah, 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 we're losing oxygen right now. Not too big of a deal. Let's go switch out the uh, the power cells with these ion power cells. Or I guess I'm like, it has literally no power cells in it right now. Anyways, right? But look at that, you guys. It's glowing green and everything. I really, I, 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 I kind of want to look up here. Well, I'm like, I'm, man, I'm speechless. I can't talk. I'm stuttering hardcore. But I want to see, what do we need? Yeah, I need to go eat some stuff. What is the, uh... What in the? Oh, that was my stomach making that. Sheesh. Uh, thermal reactor module. Polyaniline times two. Yeah, we can make that here in just a bit if we go plant down those deep shrooms and hopefully get a lot of those. Hopefully it, uh, you know, isn't a one to one ratio return thing type that type thing, right? But for kyanite, we have that no problem. Two polyaniline. We just need to get more of those deep sea shrooms, which if we don't have enough, we can just go grab that no problem ammo. Just I'm like, they're so common down there, so it's not too big of a deal. But let's go grab. Uh, I'm like, I've been, I've been eating bulbo trees lately, so let's just get these. They're really easy. They have a really good return. Like, you get six, seven, eight or so bulbo tree edible things per. And they're really good on food and, uh, almost caught an oxygen. Really good on food and water there, so that's good. Let's go replant that one. Eat some more of this, get my calorie intake up. Man, I can get a lot of that. Look at that, almost 100% right there, nice. And I guess I just replant that. Boom, boom, all right, nice! Man, I love those bulbo trees so much. And I don't... Can I switch? That's the... Yeah, that's the upgrade modules. And is there anything in the... Oh yeah, there's a bunch of chips and stuff I forgot. <laughs> I left in there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get in this. And of course, switch out the... Uh, uh, oh, there it is. Power cell, switch that out for... Ion power cell. And look at that, you can barely tell. There you go. Green and... Uh, oh, whoops, that's the upgrade thing. Whoops. And I assume the power is 100% on these. Uh, yes, so I can go put those up. Noish. But now this thing is going to last, what is that, five times longer? Oh no, I have the... Ah, oh, I have the dumb glitch. Man, I have the dumb glitch right now, you guys. Uh-oh. I can't jump up. You guys remember this whenever we are in the... Uh... Oh, man. Can I leave it and then come back in? Is that going to fix it? Because I can't jump. Yeah, look at that. It's, I'm like, I could jump, but I can't, like... Oh, man, I might need to bring the Cyclops, like, really low down. Okay, well, let me try that. Let me see if I can... Ah, oh, man. Let me see if I can uh, uh, bring it so close down to the ground where I could just jump up and it'll board. So let's see if I could do that. There we go. All right, finally. Okay. Well, anyways, uh, that doesn't really matter anymore. Hopefully, the Bronze is going to work just fine here in just a bit. But let's go back in here, and I might need to go... Uh, plant the deep shrooms in my exterior grow beds. Hopefully those are going to give me, you know, multiple deep shrooms. Because I I think the uh, acidic mushroom, we have those planted. And those are only giving me like one to one return type meme, you know. I think that's what they're... I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's what they're doing right now. So hopefully it's not like that. Look at that, still 100%. I think it might have been 99% by now if we're using the old regular power cells, but of course, <laughs> we're not using that trash anymore, right? Hey, oh. Anyways, so there's eight right there. Let me look at the planter. Yeah, we have eight acidic mushrooms there, so... Uh, I don't know. I guess we can go plant these and see what we get. Uh, oh, look at that. The pygmy bush is almost grown. That's good. I'm going to keep it separate from that, because that's more important stuff. Let me put the deep shroom things there. There's one right there. So... It's not even grown. It's just kind of hanging out there, you know? So... I don't know, I kinda wanna get, let's see, let's look at this. Oh yeah, it gives you seeds and stuff, yeah, hold on. Um, and the spore, is that different from the, picking up that? I uh, the mature floor specimen will grow if planted in a, I think it is different. I don't think you could use these seeds version of it for, uh, yeah, I'm going to need to replant that down. Huh. Yeah, okay, well, I guess the advantage of it is I might as well uh, get this uh, spore. Do this, get the seeds. Yeah, there we go. Now we could plant like eight or uh, four of those, right? Yeah, there we go. So now I need to wait for those to grow, and then, of course, I can get the seeds from all four of those. And that's going to give me uh, 16 of them, which should fill this whole entire thing. Oh, well, almost. Almost. I think it gives me, what was that, four times Six, yeah, that's four times six, so that's going to be 24 of those slots. So that's going to give me a lot of those, honestly. So I should be able to afford that polyaniline here in just a bit, especially with all the salt I've accumulated, right? So I just need to combine, what was it, three or four of those with the uh, with the salt, and we're good to go. So I may just pause the recording, just kind of wait 
for uh for those shrooms to grow and i guess i'll see you guys here in a oh wait we have another uh deep shroom right here okay let's go plant that down that's going to be good it's going to be a good head start so we're going to have technically eight of these growing here in just a moment and boom where's that one at there's that big mature one slice then i get the get the seeds which is kind of strange because of course it is a mushroom right so I don't know if it's giving me like weird mycelia strains or whatever that I could just plant into the ground and just let it do what it needs to do. But once these grow, that should cover the rest of it, no problem. So I think we should be good to go. And we should even have some uh, mushrooms we can immediately turn into this polyaniline stuff. So I don't know why it's not showing me a recipe for it, but of course, it's not really the most expensive thing in the universe. So not too big of a deal, I guess. I do want to actually get that upgrade over here with that requires the polyaniline. I wonder what else requires polyaniline, because we needed that for something else. I just can't remember. Shield generator. Might want to make that. That requires polyaniline as well. And benzene, polyaniline, engine efficiency module. I think we already have that, but from a drop or something. Yeah, we don't need the other stuff, so... I don't know, maybe I'll go look up and see, you know, what are, what are the things we may need. Or at least may once. I'm like, we don't have any uh, upgrade module like space for the prawn suit. We do have three for the Cyclops. But if we want to get some upgrades for engine efficiency module for the Cyclops. I'm like, I don't think we need that for the uh, for the prawn suit. Don't think we need it for the Seamoth either, honestly. Which I guess, if anything, we, I, I could put a uh, ion battery or ion power cell in the Seamoth. It only requires one as opposed to two of the prawn suit. So I could probably... Go do that rather than giving it an efficiency module. So, hmm. What about prawn suit things in general? That's the torpedo arm. Is there an arm that requires polyan? Oh, wait. Thermal reactor. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's the. Yeah. So there is a prawn suit version of this. So that's cool. Recharges power cells in hot areas. Doesn't stack. Nice. So, in favor of having this thing charge in hot areas. Which I don't even know. I feel really late game right now. I feel like this might be a waste on one hand, but at the same time, seems like it might be kind of cool. Pardon the pun though, right? <laughs> cool and thermal reactors, right? But it'd be nice to have. I don't think we need all that storage, you know? Uh, we could always switch it out, I guess. You, uh, Yeah. You know, keeping extra upgrade modules in the storage and, you know, switching out whenever I'm, you know, exploring versus gathering resources, you know? I guess I could do that. Yeah, I guess I'll make it. And we need two polyaniline, two kyanite. We have a lot of kyanite wiring kit. I think that's just silver or something, right? Like two silver and we get wiring kit or something crazy like that, right? So I think we might be able to afford that like really soon. So let's grab some silver from over here. I think it's just two silver for a wiring kit, right? And yep, there it is right there. Yeah, look at that. I'm starting to memorize these recipes. No brag, no brag. And of course we do need two polyaniline alongside that. And like two kyanite or something. Let's go check, check them on the deep shrooms over here. Oh, wow. Oh, 77 and 64. Wow, these are growing really fast, you guys. So these are going to be done super duper quick. So I guess I'm going to pause the recording, wait for these to grow. Of course, plant a lot of them as well as hopefully use the extras to turn into polyaniline. And I guess I'll see, I guess I'll see you guys here in a bit. <laughs> Considering how many times I pause and stuff, I don't know why I messed that little bit up. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys here in a sec. All right, guys, back. I've got some deep shroom, deep shroom spores and stuff on the way. I already made one polyaniline. Of course, we need uh, one more, but I do have these uh, these eggs that I just brought on board from the Cyclops. I said I wanted to put one of them in the uh, in the in the alien containment area. So I suppose I'll grab the one that looks like a Cyclops and drop it in here and just kind of let it do what it needs to do. I guess maybe it's gonna hatch or. Some I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen here. Uh, oh, yeah, we have this creep vine here. This thing is way too big. So or, can I get this? Oh, I might need to. Oh, yeah, I can't get that out, though. Hold on. I legitimately do not think I can get this creep vine out of here, you guys, unless I make it a little bit taller. Huh? I guess. Yeah, I guess I could uh, plant those deep shrooms in here as well, but I don't really want to do that whenever we already have a heckin' thing outside going, right? But. Anyway, speaking of that thing, I guess we can go look at that. Maybe here in the future we can go check up on that egg thing and see what's hatching out that thing. Hopefully it's not a heckin' huge leviathan critter or anything like that. It does look like a hatching, a hecking whatever you call it, <laughs> a cyclops. So who knows what's going to come out of it. I guess we'll find out a little bit later. Well, anyways, the deep shroom things require uh, 78 right there. I did already harvest a ghost weed, a pygmy, or a bulb bush thing, and a sea crown from this. 
So these things give you more than a one to one ratio. I think all things are like that. I think I think maybe they give you at least like four or so. Considering the bulbo tree gives you like seven or eight or something like that. And these things gave us like uh, four or so. So I, I already have like a, a locker on the Cyclops dedicated to these ingredients that we need for yeah there's the polyaniline finally unlocked hydrochloric acid unlocked uh dedicated to the hatching enzymes so we still need the ice oxide i said i already know about that fungal sample though i guess i can go look that up see if i could find out what uh drops this stuff because i don't know tree mushroom and mushroom form huh Oh, okay, okay, well, that's not too bad. So it gives you you need to go to the tree mushroom in the mushroom forest And that will give you that stuff. Okay, not too bad So I guess I know where to get basically everything then huh if that's if that's true at least right so anyways uh, These are 94% okay. Yeah, these are really close to being done. So that's good And I suppose whenever we're actually hanging out in the lava lakes. I don't need to worry about my uh, Prawn suit running out of power anymore whenever I'm going there for whatever reason. I don't know I, I have a feeling I might not need to go there anymore <laughs> Especially because we could bypass all that trash unless I need like kyanite or something like that But we already have a lot of that but it would have been really nice if I had this earlier on right? I didn't have to like go back and forth and back and forth and stuff like that, right? So let me grab two of those of course, uh, yeah, there we go. I grab those grab these as well I think that should be enough right there. Just four of them just planted like that. I think that's fine. I, I guess I'll keep the extras on me just to kind of make any polyaniline and stuff I need. Which, by the way, polyaniline, another thing we need it for is the charge fins. So that's kind of cool. I guess you need this polyaniline stuff to, like, charge stuff in general. So very, very interesting stuff. Well, anyways, we should be able to make the second polyaniline right there. And I think we're good to go now, you guys. I guess I can put up the extra deep... Deep shrooms over here. There you go. <laughs> Put those up over there because I don't need that trash anymore, right? And I think we're good to go. I guess we're going to go get some eye bush things. Or eye tree seeds or I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but uh, sea moth, prawn suit. Here we go. Oh, is there a same thing for sea moth? Uh, sea moth perimeter defense system generates a localized electric field designed to ward off aggressive fauna. Not too big of a deal for us, but we do want this thermal reactor type thing for the. Uh, cy or not the Cyclops. Of course, the Cyclops requires basically the same materials, but needs like uh, four polyaniline or four kyanite or something, something like that, you know. But either way, should be able to switch out that extra storage. I'm like, we're not really. I'm like, yeah, we are using the storage, aren't we? Yeah, <laughs> for all the chips and stuff, right? Golly, I guess I can grab these and just eat it, right? So there you go, just eat all that trash, and of course supplement the lost water with all this extra water we have here right there we go might as well i'll just eat it all there we go might as well yeah there we go and of course we have bulbo trees and stuff over here so i just regain all the lost water and all that kind of stuff no problemo so boom 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 hey duh. all right we're full on water full on food and we're ready to go so yeah let me get that extra storage there and prone to thermal reactor recharge the power cells in hot areas doesn't stack all right so if we, if we wanted to you know charge it twice as fast we can't just put two of them on there so that's unfortunate still a lot of space on here though i think each uh, storage module gives you an extra like row there so basically giving you six extra slots so very very noise if we ever want to you know have more slots but still getting rid of one of them isn't really the biggest deal in the universe and i think we're ready now i don't i don't think there's anything else I really want to do here, you know? If anything, I do need to remember to collect these med kits, just in case I need them, right? So, you know, at least keep like three or so on my person. That's alien stuff. Don't need that trash. Here we go. More med kits. There we go. Definitely want to keep a few of them on my person, but I think I'm going to pause the recording. Go grab the eye stock stuff. Uh, oh, what in the... There's a, uh... A lava bug there. That thing's probably been sucking in or I've probably been getting comments. I don't know how long that thing's been there. Because I remember that thing being there. Is that the same one? And it just reattached? Because I remember another one being there a long while ago. <laughs> and us having to do the same thing. So I wonder if that's the same one. Or maybe we caught another one. And I don't know how long that one's been on us. <laughs> I'm like, we weren't even near the lava stuff with our Cyclops. We kind of avoid that. Powering up. Kind of uh, go to lava areas with our Pronsu. So maybe the Pronsu brought that little thing in, huh? <laughs> Anyways. Go to pause the recording, go to, I guess, to Gazi Island, somewhere near there. That's going to give us the eye stock. Oh, whoa, 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 we're getting a little bit close there. It's going to give us the eye stock type thing. And then, of course, we need to go to the mushroom forest. That's going to give us the uh, fungal whatever. <laughs> whatever that thing was, right? And then hopefully we'll have enough to actually make the 
little hatching, whatever that thing is called. I forget what it's called. Whatever. Oh, she's running into something. Probably ran into a critter. I don't know what critter it would be, though. I don't see anything around here. Maybe I killed it. <laughs> I don't know. Either way, go to pause the recording, and I'll probably see you guys over at the quarantine enforcement, like, teleporty type thing. So, go to pause the recording, and I'll see you guys here in a bit. Oh, man, you guys. Okay, well, I'll leave the engine on. Speaking of engine, I think we're at, like, 99% power right now. I I think I just found a, a life pod. I, I, I didn't think we had any life pods left. That we have not yet discovered. But this one... Yep, look at that, there's a PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Ultra Glide Fin's probably gonna give me a... Uh, whatever it's called, Titanium. And another PDA there. What's that one say? Let's see. Integrating new PDA data. Flare, flare, lead. What else is in here? Huh. Very interesting stuff. You would have thought that uh, we would have found this before now, but I guess not, huh? Kind of want to just listen to those PDAs or read them or whatever. And of course, the Ultra Glide Fins already have that, and so no big deal there. Cyclops is already, oh, whoops. Cyclops is already turned on, so not like it really matters whether or not it's using energy and stuff. I bet it's still 99%, right? Yep, 99, or wait, not, yep, 99 meters and 99%. Very interesting stuff. I guess I'll leave it on just for a sec. Not too big a deal. We have so much leeway here. It's not even funny. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, that's other stuff that the, uh, whatever it's called, Sea Emperor said. Sea Emperor's egg, Sea Emperor's livestock. We can, we can learn about that a little bit later, but uh, Aurora Survivors, uh, six. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, yep. Well, we could just listen to it. Let's see what they have to say. Ma'am, I need you to stay calm. We're not in immediate danger. Where are the rescue teams? The Aurora didn't make it. So, where are the rescue teams? They're dead, ma'am. <laughs> we have rendezvous coordinates, but the routes are radiated. So, what are you going to do? I'm head of human resources, ma'am. This is not my expertise. But the PDA says if we can find some lead, we can make radiation suits. Oh, there! I am not setting foot outside this life pod without the proper protection. Don't worry. I'll go. <laughs> Makes HR go get the stuff then, huh? Life pod 6, crew log 2. What are you doing? You were gone so long. I thought you drowned. Put the flare down! I was going to try and attract someone's attention. That's not a distress flare! Stop waving it around like that, you'll catch the fuel line! <laughs> well, I guess now we know what happened to them. They did find the lead, though. That's that's one that I picked up just moments ago. <laughs> that's kind of a funny little meme. Rest in peace, fellas. Rest in peace. Let's pile this up now, and I think I was heading the wrong way, by the way, you guys. I think, uh... I think I said the I... Oh, wait, did I get everything? Uh, I guess I did. Eh, that's not too big of a deal if we missed something. I think I said, like, the eye stock stuff. I think that I said that was, like, by the Gazi. I couldn't find any over there. I guess maybe I was thinking of something else. So, I'm just heading back over here to Death Valley. Apparently, down there is where we find the eye stock things. And, of course, right here, we have some mushroom things we need to harvest. Some mushroom trees or whatever. So, I guess we'll get out of the Cyclops real quick. And just, uh, go, I guess, hit these one or two or three times. And we'll be good to go and... Hopefully it's going to give us the right stuff, because I did all, while I was researching this, while I was Googling it, if you want to call that research, right? Someone said there was a glitch or something, so... Fungal sample, that's good. Contains fungal enzymes. I guess I'll grab a decent amount of it, just in case. Hopefully I'll be good to go. Have a little bit of fungal resources for the road. And I don't think I could fit any more in this, yeah. That's completely full, right? Oh wait, yes I can, because it only takes up one little inventory slot, so that's good. So, oh wait, whoa. I only have two. Oh, well, I'll get the extra one. I'll put that up somewhere else. Uh, guess I'll put them up over here. That's titanium. Ah, eh, not too big of a deal if I put some titanium in the wrong thing, right? But now we have some flares. Of course, one of them was already used and subsequently killed the crew of Lifebot 6. Rest in peace. So I guess I'll put that up in the emergency stuff, just because why not, right? So flares. Not like I'm going to use it. What, what else is it for? Disposable light source used for distracting certain predators. Yeah, I don't think we ever used the flares, like, ever. <laughs> thankfully. <laughs> in one hand. Uh, thankfully, I never used it, or else we might have had a Lifebot 6 situation, right? <laughs> But yeah, we have almost everything we need. Just need to go back down to Death Valley, which some of you guys are saying, hey, why don't you rename it? Death Valley doesn't really make sense anymore. Now we know it's the Lost River 
East or something like that. I don't know. I guess I could rename it. I just need to go to the beacon itself. But I think I'm going to pause the recording again. Uh, there it is down there. And try and get this last piece of the puzzle. Of course, the eye stalk thing. And I guess we'll be good to go. And I'll see you guys over at the Sea Emperor Leviathan's little cubby hole or whatever that place is called. <laughs> or a containment area or whatever. So go to pause the recording and I'll see you guys here in a bit. Alright guys, I'm back, and I've got everything I need. I've got eye stock seed, I've got everything else as well. So boom, 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 Hada, let's go over here to the fabricator. And there it is! Hatching enzymes, I hope! I only need like one of these. I hope that's all I need, because it was actually kind of hard going literally like to each corner of the map to try and gather like one of each thing at least. So I think I think I have like seeds and stuff for like everything except for of course the mushroom tree that's like the giant mushroom so don't need to worry about that let me get into the prawns here now we're like right next oh yeah hold on oh yeah I, sh I probably should have parked the uh, the cyclops a little bit like right here that way i can like go inside there a little bit easier but no big deal no big deal let's just go through the portal and now i kind of want to even whenever we do the hatching thing i kind of want to test out like the thermo like charging type thing you know kind of go charge this prawn suit up near a uh, thermal vent and stuff that'd be kind of cool i definitely want to check that out and there she is just kind of like what heck and took so long hey do and i'm finally back i've got the enzymes don't worry golly took forever though but boom what's happening is that all i need just one? Oh my god oh they're hatching all of them hatching at the same time Holy, look at them! 